Sean Kelly Reviews Asteroid City from June 22nd, 2023. The attendees of a youth astronomy convention find themselves quarantined after an encounter with aliens in Asteroid City. Asteroid City is a small desert town known for being the site of the Arid Plains meteorite. Many junior stargazers and their parents descend upon the town for Asteroid Day, including photographer and recent widower Augie Steenbeck, played by Jason Schwartzman, and his son Woodrow, Jake Ryan, and three daughters. Augie's car breaks down along the way, requiring him to call his cantankerous father-in-law, Stanley Zack, played by Tom Hanks, for a ride. While in Asteroid City, Augie becomes enamored with actress Midge Campbell, played by Scarlett Johansson, who is in town with her junior stargazer daughter, Dina, played by Grace Edwards. Amid the Asteroid Day celebrations, led by General Griff Gibson, played by Jeffrey Wright, a UFO drops down over the crater and an alien played by Jeff Goldblum, takes the airplane's meteorite. As the alien encounter is investigated, everyone in the town is placed under quarantine. During this time, Augie contemplates his future with his family after the death of his wife. Asteroid Day Synopsis Asteroid Day is the latest film from writer and director Wes Anderson. The film is arguably the most meta of Anderson's film as the plot utilizes a black and white framing device where an anonymous television host, played by Brian Cranston, describes the main plot as a dramatization of a play by legendary playwright Conrad Earp, played by Edward Norton. This results in most of the film's cast playing double roles as the actors in the play and their characters. The small town of Asteroid City only has a population of 87, including the mechanic Hank, played by Matt Dillon, the eccentric motel manager, played by Steve Carell, and the local observatory scientist, Dr. Hickenlooper, played by Tilda Swinton. As part of Asteroid Day, the city is visited by the junior stargazers Woodrow, Grace, Clifford, played by Iristu Meehan, Shelley, played by Sophia Lillis, and Ricky, Ethan Josh Lee. Along with their parents, Augie Steenbeck, Mitch Campbell, J.J. Kellogg, played by Leah Schreider, Sandy Borden, played by Hope Davis, and Roger, played by Stephen Park. Other visitors who end up trapped during the quarantine include the class of school teacher June Douglas, played by Maya Hawk, who becomes enamored with singing cowboy Montana, played by Rupert Friend. My thoughts on Asteroid City. Throughout his nearly three decade long career, Wes Anderson has developed a signature style, which ends up being his film's main appeal while also being the main hindrance. When comparing Anderson's early films, such as Bottle Rocket and Rushmore, to later efforts like Moonrise Kingdom, The Grand Budapest Hotel, and The French Dispatch, it is obvious that in many cases the style has become more important than the substance. Similar to how his previous film, The French Dispatch, had different chapters based on various magazine articles, Asteroid City is divided by various scenes of the titular play that the film is an apparent dramatization of. This results in there being a number of behind-the-scenes asides, including a class by renowned acting teacher Salzburg Kaido, played by Willem Dafoe, or the various actors discussing the directions of their characters, including Augie Steenbeck actor Jones Hall having a heart-to-heart -heart with the actress who played his wife, played by Margot Robbie. While there is a certain appeal to Wes Anderson's films, he uh, personally peaked for me with the Grand Budapest Hotel nearly a decade ago. That said, I did enjoy the uh, few instances Anderson incorporated his love of stop-motion animation into the narrative, particularly through a recurring Roadrunner and the visiting alien, the latter of which is played by a costume Jeff Goldblum in the behind-the-scenes sections. Another key element of Wes Anderson's films is his ensemble cast, which seem to get larger with each film, with Asteroid City adding the likes of Tom Hanks, Scarlett Johansson, Maya Hawke, and Steve Carell. Carell's motel manager was originally meant to be played by longtime Wes Anderson collaborator Bill Murray, who dropped out due to scheduling conflicts for a recent controversy involving inappropriate behavior on set by Murray probably didn't help things. Frankly, I thought Steve Crowe did a fine job and Bill Murray's presence wasn't really missed. Ultimately, I would say that Asteroid City is a film that should appeal to those who are longtime fans of Wes Anderson. However, I am starting to wish that the filmmaker would adjust his style one of these days. You can only make bright and symmetrical films for so long before they start appearing like self-parody. I give the film three and a half stars. 
Positive notes for Asteroid City uh, should appeal to longtime fans of Wes Anderson. Negative notes for Asteroid City. In many ways, Wes Anderson's style has become more important than his substance.